Hey, and welcome to the beginner guide to getting started with the SEO writer inside of ZenWriter. This is gonna be a short video. If you want a much deeper dive, I have a video on that also, but this is just gonna give you a high level overview of using the SEO writer. At the end of the video, you should be able to generate a couple different articles with the SEO writer and also know when to use the SEO writer. So you'll find the SEO writer right here next to the one click writer. So SEO writer will click it. We'll open up the menu. Now, before we talk about the menu, I wanna close it so you don't get distracted. I wanna talk about when we would wanna use the SEO writer because there's a lot of different ways to write content inside of ZimWriter. Last video, we talked about the one click and the bulk writer. When would you wanna use those versus the SEO writer? The one click and the bulk are great for content that the AI either knows about or if you enable SERP scraping that the SERP knows about. The SEO writer is good when you have information that the AI doesn't know about or the SERP doesn't know about, and you're gonna feed that information to the AI. The SEO writer is also very useful when you wanna completely customize your outline. You can do your H3s exactly how you want, your H4s, your H2s, everything is completely configurable to your particular tastes and settings on an article by article basis. Now, the downside is it's one article at a time. There's no queue. There's no bulk for it. So if you want to do bulk, use the bulk writer. But if you're going a little bit slower and more methodically, use the SEO writer. So let me open up the SEO writer right here. Now, again, I'm going to hammer this point in. Click the directions link. It's going to take you to my SEO writer exhaustive guide. Spent a lot of time on this guide. I'll scroll down here. I don't know how many thousands of words this is, but it truly is an exhaustive guide. It will answer 95% of all your questions. So read that guide. Very important. So the first thing you can do in here is you can set your blog post title. Five steps to get good grades in college. So we can put our blog post title in here. We're not going to talk about SERP scraping. That will be for the advanced video. You'll see a global background box. And this is an area that we can put in some background information that the AI would not know about. Now, this particular topic right here, the AI probably can come up with something fairly decent. But if this was like five steps to dis, I can't spell, I can't spell in real time disassemble a Ford V8 engine, the AI is going to have no idea whatsoever. So this would be an example of where you would want to potentially supply some background information, information that the AI does not know. This is not where you put prompts in. You don't put in, I want you to write like at an eighth grade level, I want you to not repeat yourself and stuff. You don't put prompts in the global background. And then you can set your number of H2s that you want. So we can say we want five H2s or we want 10 H2s. Let's put 10 in here. And when you put it in here, you'll have to click somewhere else to make it all change. It refreshes, and now we have our 10 H2s. A couple different options in here. There's an explanation in here about how you can create your outline somewhere else and then press this button to copy it all in. Let me actually demonstrate that for you. Here's an, and it has to be in a specific format. You gotta follow the directions, very important. I'm gonna copy this and I'll click this button right here. It actually will create our H2s or H3s or H4s, all that good stuff for you. Has to be in the appropriate format. Let me erase the settings so we can start fresh. Five steps to get into college. And we have five different H2s. So we copied from the clipboard, but we can also just use the AI to generate our headings. So I'll click this button and we'll wait a second. Don't type anything, just be patient. Sometimes OpenAI might hang a little bit, so it might take a little bit longer. But it came up with some different headings. Research potential colleges, prepare standardized test, build strong extracurricular pr uh, profile. That sounds pretty good. Now, if we want to, we can put some H3s in here and we can actually expand this and start configuring some more options, but we'll cover that in the advanced video. So we have five different headings in here. We can configure some length, some voice. We'll talk about all these different options in the advanced video. And then you can put some SEO keywords in here too. These would be keywords that you'd get from like phrase or market muse or surfer or something like that. These can be uh, line after line. You could say SAT scores, practice tests. They can be on new lines or they can be comma separated if you want to. Now, when you're done, you'll just click either of these buttons here. You are able to scrape URLs. We'll talk about that in the advanced video. But once everything's scraped already or you don't have any URLs, it doesn't really matter what button you click. So we'll just click this button and it will say it's starting to write the article. So that's all you have to do. A couple minutes later, you'll get your article. Again, it will be in the 
output folder in your ZimWriter directory unless you've specified a different folder for it. So that's it. You should be able to generate articles now using the SEO Writer. If you want more of a deeper dive, definitely check out my advanced video on this. Other than that, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment down below, join the Facebook group. Talk to you later.